What's up, bro? This is Steve from Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West. We're indoors. We're going to talk to you about the Carver Surf Rack. You surf to live. You live to surf. You got a scooter. You want to get your stick to the spot? This is what you have to have, a Carver Surf Rack for the back of your scooter. We're going to be talking about that shortly, and then we're going to be pumping the, hip, the big ones and headed to the beach. All right, so Carver stuff was actually originally invented and prototyped at the North Shore in Hawaii. That is no joke. You can look that up online. These guys have thought of everything with this kit. What you see is what you get, and this is virtually everything you're going to need to install this surf rack on the back of any scooter, so long as it has some sort of a flat rat. Extremely universal. I'm going to dive into the stuff that's included. Obviously, you can tell what these are for. These are the fully adjustable locking cradles with the bungee that install, and that's actually what secures the actual board. There's a steel plate, and then there's the mounting plate that everything gets sandwiched to. So the way this would actually go on the rack is it's the top plate and then the under plate. It's equipped with all stainless steel hardware, which is important if you're going to be putting like a wetsuit on here, a wet board. You know, if you've got this, you're probably close to the beach, so you don't want that, you don't want any of that hardware rusting. By the same token, this is a aluminum plate that's bent what is that? It's like three eighths of an inch thick. It's got these mounts and these are on a pinch style. So you can actually install this bar and install that bar and pivot it at any angle. Once you install those bars, these short screws are important. Those pass through and actually thread into that. Do not forget to install those. Very, very important. The one negative thing I could say about this and never want to pick on anybody's products, but this underside plate, which is what sandwiches this between the rack, you can visualize a rack going in between there, is these are eight by 1.25 thread. And because the, the thick rubberized coating that's on this, the threads are actually a little bit stubborn on this. So if you've got an eight by 1.25 tap, definitely recommend running a tap through it. I've got one installed on this drill. So, you know, you're not supposed to use a drill, but I don't really care. You know, you would kind of cram that thing through there. With a tap, you kind of want to go back and forth until it passes through cleanly. I don't know if you'll see it on the camera, but you can see that one's been chased. Nice, clean threads. That one hasn't. It makes all the difference in the world when you go to install this thing so you're not fighting and damaging your hardware. I think that's about all I can say about the bits and stuff that are included. Let's actually come on down here to this uh, Hooligan 170 that's got one installed with a beautiful board that's been shaped by your cameraman. That's right, Scott Jones. So you can see we've actually got the board installed on this rack. These are bungee cords, so you can actually tie a knot in those and shorten the length of them if need be. I'm gonna actually take the board off so we can actually see what's going on behind here. These arms, like we showed earlier, are secured, the positioning of them based on these uh, four screws here. So you can take the provided Allen wrench and actually adjust these things for a wider board or for a variety of other things. Yeah, it's a surf rack, but I mean, you can put sheets of drywall in here. You could put two by fours. You can go to the beach, you can stack folding chairs in there. Don't know so much about the building materials, but the folding chairs, that's legit. Done that before with these things. So that's pretty cool. You can also, when you're not using it, you take those off and you stash those somewhere so you're not dealing with that extra width on the back of the scooter. And these two, you can put in different, different positions, again, adding to the versatility. So you're not putting a surfboard, so you're doing something else. Up here, we'll have Scott kind of zoom in and you'll see the aluminum top plate, and then you'll see the underside, the universal thick plate. So we've taken that original hardware and we put some nice rubber caps on them and we've upgraded to like a nylock nut so it's never going to vibrate and come loose. You're going to wonder what's going on with this top thing. A lot of times people ask, it's like, all right, cool, I want the surf rack, but I also want a top case. This is how versatile this product is. We've actually sandwiched a shad top case mounting plate and incorporated it along with the surf rack. So you've got a spot for your wetsuit, you know, pretty awesome. People don't think you can do this. People think it's one or the other. Here at Scooter West, we think outside the box and we can combine stuff. So those of you that are familiar with scooters know that you've got the removable top cases fit right on there. No better way to get to the beach with your stick than with one of these Carver surf racks. And oh yeah, we got them right here at Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West. Check it out.